Hello friends, I am Raghi and I am back with the another question of NCRT takes chapter number 6 thermodynamics. In this video, I will be discussing the question number 9 and stage number 183. So let's move on to the question. Question is calculate the number of kilojoules of heat necessary to raise the temperature of 60 grams of aluminium from 35 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Molar heat capacity of aluminium is 24 joule per mole per Kelvin. So we need to calculate out the number of kilojoules of heat necessary to raise the temperature. Fine, so it's very simple. So let's begin with the solution. Actually, you need to know the equations. You need to learn the equations. Which question may consequation come in the dynamics, there are many, many equations, but you have to sort out according to the question, ki un equations mein se, un, uh, equations mein se, kaun si ek aise equation hai, jo uh, applicable hogi aapke question ke liye. Fine, so there is uh, only an uh, important point to know that, ki while you are studying thermodynamics, while you are watching the videos, you are in thermodynamics of mind, then I'll, um, I have made, made very sure ki jo bhi equations hain, and I think you must, might have learned all those equations. So, up to, up to, it's the beginning of the questions. But as you will practice the questions regarding thermodynamics, you will clarify that which question is which equation applicable. So, please, when you are watching the videos, do mark the equations. Equations, please, you will be able to remember it. but I just want that you have an applicative idea in your brain that for this equation, these equations are relevant and these are not relevant, right? So let's begin with the solution of here. It's, it was my duty to, duty to tell you all that please make sure that the equations regarding the thermodynamics chapter is very much clear to you all that which equation derived from where it derived And at last, I just want to say that in a nutshell, we do learn all the equations which I have told you in my video. Fine. So let's move on to the equation solution. So calculate the number of kilojoules of heat necessary to raise temperature of 60 grams of aluminium from 35 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Molar heat capacity of aluminium is 24 joule per mole per Kelvin. Fine. So the equation which is applicable to this question, uh, which is question in necessity, it requires the heat energy. So Q is equal to NC delta T. We are being provided with the delta T value also. In this question, we have been given the heat capacity value also. And now our job is to calculate out the number of moles of aluminium. Okay, so the mass of aluminium, uh, that means 60 yeah, aluminium, ka jo mein mass jo mein liya hai, wo diya hua hai. So it's very easy to calculate out the number of moles. Number of moles is N is equals to will be 60 grams, which is given to us divided by molecular mass of aluminium. So molecular mass of aluminium is 27 gram per mole. And so number of moles will be calculated out from this. So we will uh, we'll, we'll be substituting this value in this. We will be getting our uh, heat uh, which is necessary to raise the temperature. So Q is equal to Q. Now you can write this on side. Bhi bracket mein likh Ki number of moles. N is regard to the number of moles. Ko. Number of moles when we calculate cake as 60 grams, so aluminum ka hunga hunga hai, divided by the molecular mass of the aluminum, which is 27 grams per mole. Fine, now putting this, uh, this value in the equation, Q is equals to N, what is N? N is equals to 60 grams divided by 27 gram per mole. Fine, multiplied by me C, C is the specific heat capacity. So, capacity, heat capacity which is given is 24 joule per mole dot kelvin and delta t delta t kaise calculate karenge 55 minus 35 degrees celsius and degrees celsius fine so uh, in uh, the equation which i took i have substituted all the values regarding this equation it's just now we need to calculate uh, by simple mathematics so the answer to this question will be 1066 0.7 uh, 0.7 joule. Okay, this will be your answer. And if we convert it to kilo joule, then what will happen? It will be 1.07 kilo joule. So this is the answer for this question. That means uh, 1.07 kilo joule. 
किलोजूल में मैंने क्यों कन्वर्ट किया बिकॉज आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट द हीट इन किलोजूल सो मेरे को मेरे पास सबसे पहले जो आंसर आया वो जूल में आया 1066.7 जूल तो आई कन्वर्टेड इनटू किलो जूल वोट क्या क्या मैंने आई डिवाइडेड इट बाय 100 मैंने इसको 100 से डिवाइड कर दिया दैट मीन्स वन जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन डिवाइड बाई थाउजेंड सॉरी थाउजेंड से डिवाइड कर दिया मैंने तो मेरे को ये किलो जूल में मिल गया ठीक है जूल को अगर मैं किलो जूल में कन्वर्ट करूंगी तो आई विल बी डिवाइडिंग द वैल्यू बाई टेन डेज टू पावर थ्री और थाउजेंड तो मुझे भी मिल गया वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन किलो जूल सो वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन किलो जूल ऑफ हीट और नेसेसरी टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ सिक्सटी ग्राम ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम फ्रॉम थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस टू फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस इज दीट विच इज बीन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द प्रोसेस I hope the uh, solution regarding the question must have been very much clear to you. But still, if you are having any doubt regarding this question, then do let me know your doubts and please write your doubts in the space given below. Well, this is a, this is it for me. And it's me, Rakhi, signing off for now. Take care and goodbye.